hi everyone welcome to my channel my name is Kathy um, in today's video I'm going to be showing you one tip about beanie embroidery most of the times if you're new or if you're embroidering a beanie for the first time it will be confusing to understand or to like to tell where your design is gonna be facing when you hoop your beanie so in this video i'm going to be showing you a tip that will help you hoop your beanie with no issues i apologize for the little voices you might hear in the background my kids are watching uh tv in the next uh a room but uh i need to like do this video and finish this video so you will need to print out the design that you're going to embroider cut around it the way i did in the video then you will need some um, some pins to pin it in the direction that you want it to face as you can see in this video i'm going to pin my design before i even unfold or i turn my bin inside out that way when i turn my bin inside out I, i'll not get confused on where my design will need to face when i hoop and when i start embroidering watch how i do it I'm making sure that I'm centering my design I'm pinning my uh, design on the beanie in the position and in the direction where I want my design to be and where I want my design to face see after turning my bin inside out my design shows me how i should hoop the beanie i'll go ahead and get my cutaway stabilizer and uh, hook my beanie Also, when you're hooping, um, 
it's easier when you hook your water soluble stabilizer with the beanie you know that way it won't keep moving but just in case uh, <laughs> you forget to hook your water soluble stabilizer as i forgot in this video you can um you can just you know float it and pin it around so it doesn't move move around when you start embroidering but it's you know better if you can uh hook the water soluble stabilizer with your beanie that way you won't have issues with the with the um, stabilizer moving around if you can look um if, if you can see uh, the design that I pinned on my beanie already has some little little marks. I don't know if you can see them That shows me the center of the design. So this is gonna help me when, when I'm hooping I already know the center and uh, I know where my design is supposed to face so It's gonna make my you know my work easy So after hooping, uh, you can use this uh, temporary adhesive, adhesive to lay, um, to spray around, to spray on the stabilizer. Uh, this will help your beanie to be kept in place. If you don't have the this spray, you can use pins to pin around. You know. You can use pins to pin the uh, the beanie with uh, with the stabilizer. You can also use some tape to tape the stable. Uh, sorry, to tape the beanie to the stabilizer. This also helps to keep the uh, the beanie in one place, so that it doesn't move when you start embroidering. Uh, if you're done hooping your abini, you can go ahead and start embroidering. 